we are into on another new hour of insensitivity training for a politically correct world. I'm Woody. That's Ravy. Good morning. There's uh, Greg Gorey. Hoy, hoy. Menace is here. What is up, Woody? There is Seabass. Yeah. Sammy. Morning. Bort, Caroline, Morgan, Vaughn. You on the phones at 877-44-WOODY. We will uh, open up the phones for a round of Ask the Woody Show. Any question that you've got. Ooh. Doesn't have to be show related. It could be something for someone on the show or just something in general. Maybe you're having a, uh, a hard time making a choice today between two different things. Something as silly as... You know, where to go for lunch or something as important as should I marry him? Oh. Or real estate investment advice. Anything. <laughs> yeah. Anything in between. Anything. There is a am I the a-hole question that somebody uh, that had for us. And also, oh, okay. yeah, another Ask the Woody Show question. So we'll open up the phones for that. Coming up, 877-44-WOODY. Text over to 2297. Greg, you said you had a question. I have a question for you. For me, yeah. Yes. Ask Woody of the Woody Show. Okay. Okay. Hi, Greg Gorey. Hi. Thank you for uh, thank you for listening. What do you got? Oh, first <laughs> first time caller, long time Your listener. Your phone is great, Greg. Yeah. Big yeah, fan. It's a great sounding phone. Right. I have a really good phone. Um, the other night we were at dinner, and the place wasn't too dark, but it was dark enough that somebody had asked you what time it was, or what time is something happening, and or how far off are we from going to the next place? Oh, I know what you're gonna ask. And then you, yeah, had to figure out what time it was. Right. <laughs> So you look at your watch and realize, wow, it's dark enough that I can't really see my watch. So you took your phone. But the face of the watch, by the way, the watch I was wearing, it was a mm. dark face watch with dark dark uh, hands on it. The numbers, d- everything's dark. It's right. like you've ever heard of glow-in-the-dark watches. Well, yeah. 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 it was not a glow-in-the-dark watch. So he's trying to tell us what time it is. He takes his I'm trying to see. phone out of his <laughs> pocket, yeah. mm-hmm. hits his thumb to the phone to bring up his screen, activates the flashlight feature yeah and looks at my watch and he looks <laughs> at his watch yeah. and, and i start laughing and you said what yeah i wasn't getting and <laughs> there's two reasons in unison yeah. the four people at the table and me said why didn't you just look at your phone when you yeah. took it out of your pocket I, honestly, yeah. the other and thing i thought he's punky right? i could yeah. come up with trying to reason it out mm-hmm. and i just know you and i know you're not this way is like other people would do that as a watch flex Oh, oh no! Like no, look not at a, my brand of watch. No, you know what? Like, that's yeah. like some people would do that, but I know Woody no. well enough to know he wasn't watch flexing. It wasn't a watch flex. It's because I was looking at the watch first. You know, if I've been, <laughs> it, it, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so oh, <laughs> for yeah, Sammy, go to Sammy. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the room. She responded. The, the problem solving yeah. of how am I going to be able to check the right. time on so, my watch right now? Yeah. I have a flashlight. So here's here's exactly how it <laughs> yeah. went. Yeah. What time is it? I I thought immediately like, oh, I'll look mm. at my watch. That's typically what I do. I always think my watch first. I always wear a watch, mm-hmm. and I think I think so about my I. I think about my yeah. watch first. I went to go look. And when I realized I couldn't see, I'm like, oh. So now it's like, oh, I just need to see whatever this is. I'm not right. thinking of time anymore. Now right. I'm thinking I just need to see. And when I think, oh, I need more light. I need to see. Then that's when I'll I think my, my phone, phone uh, which has a flashlight yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I yeah. Thought, no, yeah. it was. Yeah, I'm not punking you. <laughs> I'm not. Is he, uh, is he being wow. silly? No, I'm not being silly. I wasn't punking you. That's exactly oh, how my brain my worked in that moment. <laughs> I was a so little, little bit concerned. Now we were drinking a lot of yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that's not an excuse. We were. That's not an excuse. To me, that's more of an old man. No, move. the excuse was yeah. you looked at your watch and had watch on mind. Are you right? Yeah, I was thinking like, oh, what the, I can't see this. <laughs> That's your excuse. I need to. I need some light. Look at my bifocals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was. Uh, now, Greg, did he wow, have? I was taken when aback. you saw him pick up his phone, did he have that giant old old man type that they my dad has? Where <laughs> every every letter is half the screen. No, the phone is no, normal. No, no, no. But I just wasn't quite sure. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Where yeah, it's like a zoomed phone. in. Yeah. Yeah, oh, bigger fonts. Oh yeah, mega yeah. font. Yeah, mine's yeah. just like the regular. So far, the regular font. Yeah. Not there Ravy? yet. Yeah, not there yet. Yeah, I Ravy, thought it was yeah, hilarious. I saw my dad have it the other day. He's got his glasses yeah. up. He's pulled up. So I'm like, Jesus, how big are those numbers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you ever do stuff like that? Like in general, where you're like, such an I've, there's such an easier uh-huh. way. To, whatever I just did, and oh, for whatever absolutely. reason, you were, it was the way complicated way. Yeah. Oh, that just happened to me the other day. There was like the seatbelt in the car that we were in was all twisted up. I'm like, how did it get like this? Mm-hmm. Cause you know sometimes like the it's the buckle itself that's kind of turned on itself or yeah. whatever. And I'm, when he was working at like a Rubik's cube. Yeah, and I'm trying to think like, man, how did this get? Because it was mega twisted. Okay. It really was. And so uh, I'm like, oh wait, because the guy was like, oh, 
He goes at the bottom where it connects. He goes, just twirl that around a bunch of times. And that un... And it was I undone didn't even, immediately. See, I didn't even think that. You know, like, uh, you ever see those puzzles where it's like two nails and they're bent in a certain way and, right. and there's a way to get them apart, but you got to right. know how to yeah. do it. Yeah. And it seems like two horseshoes with a chain. Oh, I love that, that are, one. That are connected. It's got that metal like ring. ring. There's a little mm-hmm. wind and, ball on there. Yeah, That's they're, the they're, only one I can solve. Yeah, and, there, and there's a <laughs> and there's a way to do it, but like you're just not thinking. You're not you're not thinking right. in in that yeah. in that way. Uh-huh. You know, you're thinking of all the other mo- more more yeah, obvious. Woody ones. was like, just making it worse. That's the. That's kind of like that's when the watch thing, man. When you're looking for something and you're holding it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So dumb. Just those weird glitches in your brain. So dumb. Brain but glitch. the phone to yeah. look at the that's watch. So funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it it is funny. so funny. How <laughs> dumb. I did have a follow up. Are you punking us, Greg? So my oh. my wife works for a tech company. And we we're getting off the plane and we we're like talking about our new job, whatever. She just kind of started there. Yeah. And then. Uh, Greg, he's probably still high off Zannies or whatever. Greg goes, <laughs> because we're going to the music festival, he goes, oh, so you're not working at the music festival all day? And we're kind of looking at Greg like, uh, she just talked about her job for like 10 minutes of what she does for a living. And then Greg was asking her if she was working at the music festival. <laughs> we're like, what? What are you talking about? I can kind of see where um, Greg's coming from from that. Honestly, no, yeah. I, I wanted to know if she had to be at the actual festival. Yeah, but when you said it, you said work at the festival. Yeah, like we were there for a work thing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't you know. mean work the festival. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, you like, said go- that. I think it was just because you were still high off Zannies. I was 100% not on Zannies. <laughs> yeah, you not- weren't? I meant... You were acting loopy. Well, like, okay, what barbiturate was what? it? No. No, because you, uh, you explaining that, I could see exactly what, what his question meant. Like if you worked for... An event company, I would understand you have to be yeah, at the festival. Yeah. But in her capacity, I wondered if she had to physically be there or if she could do it remotely or if she was there for work. Right. Uh, I didn't mean work like we the festival, all, like yeah. take, t- you know, greet people at the door or like serve <laughs> drinks. Yeah, yeah. I didn't mean that. Yeah. And she's had a bunch of different jobs recently. Oh, yeah. 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 It feels like she's had like four different jobs okay. in four months. It does. It, I yeah. know it's not that close together, but like she's had a lot of jobs over the last like I don't know year and a half. No, t- uh, the last job you, she had for two years. Really? Yeah. Allegedly. Two years plus. Wow. Yeah. Really? Does, does it seem that way? Uh-uh. No. no, it doesn't. Uh-uh. <laughs> I think all the time. I mean, not to blame COVID, but everything. I don't know the times and everything. Yeah. On, it's so wacky. Uh, let's go right to the phones and say hello to Rebecca. Hey, good morning, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Rebecca. Hello, hello. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Love you guys. Uh, love you too. All right, so what? Uh, what's the question? What can we help you with? My question is, how do you stop making someone infatuated with you? Oh, wow. <laughs> how, do you make, how do you get them to not like you anymore? Wait a minute. Stop being, is, uh, that a, is that a humble brag? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, all right, so what's, what's the situation? Is this like a, a co Who is this person? Coworker? Friend, neighbor. It's, it's an ex. It's an ex. That's oh, an ex. Wanting to reunite. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, what, so what's, he's a what's, nice guy. He's a nice guy. I just, I, you know, it, when it when it doesn't feel right, you know, but yeah. I, I don't want to hurt his feelings. But you broke up with him the first time, I'm assuming. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and how long ago was that? Oh gosh, so long ago. But we've we've like kind of stayed in contact. Right, see, there's the problem. To what degree is he still uh, in your life? Yeah. Does he go out with your friends? Do you see <laughs> yeah. him on the regular? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's also true. I was going to say, because if uh, he broke up with you, you'd be like, dude, you broke up with me. I've moved on. Like, I love you. We can be friends and everything else, but, like, I, I think we've uh, already done the relationship yeah. thing. Yeah. You can still give him some kind of version of that. Although, I, you know, it's so pathetic. Yeah. Like, somebody begging... <laughs> Begging essentially to be with somebody when it's very clear that, him, although I don't know how clear are you because you, you seem like you're trying to be too nice. Yeah, it seems like you like the attention. Yep. I, maybe, maybe I am being too nice. I, I, I am being very like strict where I'm like, you know, we're not dating. We, I'm single. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So, see, Bass, I mean, you're, <laughs> you're probably the best. Uh, I mean, the easy way is just let, let them know that you have uh, herpes or whatever. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now the only question is, will he then spread that? Be- <laughs> yeah, or just just lie and say you're already interested in somebody else. There's somebody else I'm interested in. Look, we've already tried the relationship thing. It, it didn't work out. Okay. Moved oh, on. oh, oh. Let me let me adjust mine. Okay. Tell him that. Say, look, I'm only telling you this. I'm telling no one else. This is your and my secret. I have herpes. Then, <laughs> then when then if it gets out, you can say, oh. Yeah, I thought I trusted you. I thought I trusted you. Uh, Yep. (laughs) Thank you. So you win either way you win. Yeah. I will. Well, well, then everyone thinks you have herpes, but I don't see that's a win. Eh, Whatever. She's hot. (laughs) And stop and stop bleeding them on. Something tells me that like you're being nice, but at the same time you're you you like it in a way because I, I, you know, I'm not. uh, Well, I guess I am making it. Or to have somebody on the back burner. I guess that's where I was going. No, I feel that. I probably, I probably am being too nice for sure. Yeah, Yeah. she's too nice and too hot. It's hard to be mean. (laughs) We like you so much, Rebecca. Thank Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it's like bye. Bye. Yeah, like too yeah, much. What do you yeah. do when yeah. you're just too likable? I know. Well, because I mean, I, I was gonna say not to generalize, but I am generalizing. Chicks are notorious for keeping dudes on the back burner. Like they're not that interested right now, but just yeah, in case. I'll be it's nice. like how you hold for a emergency. reservation from some place that you know. I think we're gonna go to this other restaurant. I'm gonna hold this other restaurant reservation. Just in case. Maybe. You have no real intention of going there, per se, but if everything else kind of goes to crap, that's where you're going to go. I'm not saying that there are no dudes that do that. Sure. Ever, but. But a texter said she's breadcrumbing him. But, uh, yeah. right. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So like, but she's, women, he's still in his life. Her women life. have right. way more options than dudes all the time, so they're able to do that backburning thing. Guys don't have enough uh, supply, necessarily, to backburner. <laughs> Uh, this one says, I was at a restaurant with my husband and a few friends over the weekend. We brought my one-year-old who sat at the table with us. He, of course, dropped some food and other things on the ground over the course of the meal. We ate our food, paid our bill, and got ready to leave. As we were walking away, one of my friends stopped us and goes, aren't you going to go pick up the food after your kid? I couldn't believe she said that. I get we're at a restaurant, but he's a child. He didn't mean to leave scraps on the ground. She said that I should have taken the time to pick up what was dropped so the waitress doesn't have to. Am I a jerk, or was uh, my friend out of line? Yeah, your friend answer. was out of line, and yes, you were a jerk. Yeah, both can be true. <laughs> yeah. I don't think the friend was out of line. No, if, 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 if it was a friend of mine, yeah, and I saw mm-hmm. that their kid had made a huge mess, and I'd be like, "Really? You're just gonna leave mm-hmm. that?" Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was I mean, a question. Yeah, it it depends wasn't on like it wasn't a uh, an assault on your parenting style. It was just a question. Are like, you gonna was, clean that up? Was it presented like you say, Woody, with your emphasis on <laughs> what are you doing here? Aren't you gonna grab this? Or was yeah. it like I don't dude? Know. Yeah. Are yeah. Just Aren't gonna you gonna pick that? up after your child? <laughs> well, I, I could see where that would be, you know, like how how do you do that? I've seen those those parents. They leave, oh my god, it looks like everything oh, exploded. It's a yeah. But they, is my child doesn't know any better. Well, you do. Yeah, but yes. yeah, that's the other point I was gonna say. Also, why are you bringing a child to that? I can't we're at a restaurant, but he's a child. Uh, okay. Right. He doesn't know better. He's yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, which is why you're there. Everybody's getting that. Leave that thing at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no reason a baby needs to be Pay for a, a sitter. Yeah. Uh, yes, you are. In that case, then yes, you are the a-hole. Uh, ask the Woody Show, 877-44-Woody. That's 877-44-Woody. Let's say hello to Ashley. Hey, good morning, Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Hi. Hey. Uh, ask the Woody Show. What's your question? Uh, my question for Ravy. Mm-hmm. I was wondering if you've read any Dramini, like Draco Hermione fan fiction, and if yes, like <laughs> what are your thoughts? <laughs> no, but I'm going to now. <laughs> oh, I have recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> well, text that over to me so I can. Okay. F- fan fiction sure. is They're always like the funniest. Thing to me, it's so amateur yeah. that you know <laughs> you this couple didn't get together, but you want them to get together. Like there was, um, oh my god, what was that show with the Winchester brothers that ran for forever? I'm sorry, I didn't. the Winchester brothers. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 It ran, it ran for a long time uh, Winchester on, on the CW. Supernatural? Supernatural, thank you. Uh. And there's like fan fiction called Wincest 
<laughs> Which I was like, these Wind mothers says. are ah. <laughs> I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, some of them do get kind of weird, but um, the handful that I've read are totally worth it. Definitely guilty pleasure. Like, I don't really tell anybody besides calling into a radio <laughs> right, show. but telling yeah. everybody now. Yeah, yeah. Nor should you. <laughs> should keep it to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ashley. All right, Ashley, thank you for the call. Bye. Like, Bye. if somebody made a Bye. Property Brothers uh, fan fiction, would you read? <laughs> that Greg no like, no no because it'd be stupid no. boring yeah and but I've never... hilarious uh, uh ask the Woody uh, show question maybe. on the text maybe. who owns the Woody show are you guys salaried employees is it a podcast well <laughs> <laughs> what a lot of business questions is yeah. it a podcast? Oh, we said we can ask yeah, answer questions about anything uh, so the show is owned by iHeartMedia, media iheart radio don't uh, you own the title of it because you had it before I, you started I working? Own, well, I have rights to the name The Woody Show because we've right. used that before yeah. we came here. Anything that we did prior, prior. to being here. But, um, but guess who's gas? Guess who's gas? <laughs> is property that, of. Uh, oh. Technically property <laughs> of. And you know what? That is. That but is, the concept you, anyone could do, quite frankly. The name, though. Yep. Right. Um, but, uh, yeah, so iHeartMedia owns the, the show. Uh but we are salaried employees. I love it when people say that. Like, so do you guys have other jobs or uh, <laughs> like, well, what do you do? A lot of people in radio. A lot of people yeah. in radio need to. Do. Yep. Yeah. No, we don't have other jobs. It is a, it's a full time job, believe it or not. <laughs> um, and is it a podcast? Well, yeah. I mean, the yeah. the show that we do every day ends up being a podcast. Technically. Uh, another question on the text. I met this girl uh, this weekend. Well, I was out of town and lied that I was single. One thing led to another, and we spent the night together. Now Sweet. that I'm back home, we want to see each other again, but I want to tell her that I do have a family. Sammy, this is up to you. Exactly. Which will make it right. difficult for me to meet out of town. I I need your expertise. Well, I don't have any expertise again, on this. Sammy. I need your expertise in how to go about this. That's from Anonymous. We need to meet up out of town. All right, Sammy, what would you do? He's wanting to meet up with her again? Yeah. Yep. Well, he wants yeah. to be honest. He already, he, it sounds like he, ha he has a family already. He already right. cheated. But right. they had a great time right. with this out-of-town fling I, over I mean, the weekend. I mean, it was awesome. Wants to meet up That's again, cool. but wants to tell her, like, hey, yo, girl, I got a family. That's going to make it difficult to meet out of town. I don't have any good advice for this person because I think well, this guy's... Don't, this is don't awful. do it. Uh, I mean, like, don't go through all these lengths to... I mean... Like, you know, well, that's hot. not very helpful. He wants to know how to right. do it. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. and you're the well, person okay. who's the apologist. Like, like, come up with a business happen. trip or something. Like, well, if, 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 if he's going to continue down this road anyways, then he <laughs> definitely still does not tell her about his family. He tells his family he's going on a business trip, and then he goes and meets her out of town. I mean, yeah. why, what's hard about that? He has to go to a mechanics yeah. convention. Just lies. <laughs> Just continue to lie. Yeah. Greg, and, he, and he needs to know he's a good person. Yeah. <laughs> Greg, pick a, pick a question off that list. You just go through it while uh, I'm talking to this next person okay. here. Uh, say hi to Jamal. Hey, good morning, Jamal. Jamal. Hey, this question is for Woody. All right. Hey, how you doing, Woody? What's up? Um, do you watch ID Go? ID Go. Oh, is that? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, is that the, uh, the, the, the what, what's Investigation the, Discovery. Investigation Discovery. Formerly the Court yeah. TV? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Do you remember You remember two years ago about the three neighbors that killed each other and shoveling about the snow in Pennsylvania? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's an episode on there now. It's, it's um, number two. I saw it yesterday. I couldn't believe it. Okay. They showed a whole full story. Is that also where that, so uh, you, is that the same uh, network? Is that the same network that has that show, I Almost Got Away With It? Because that I love. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Exactly. I almost yeah. got away with it. Like these guys, you know, they're on the run, and it's amazing how many times they cross paths with the cops. And they, <laughs> yeah, like, it's crazy. And get the marshals are looking for them. Like everybody's looking for these guys, and they, they always have some kind of run in at least once with the cops. And they're right there. And it's it's crazy. And they get away. Yeah, it's crazy. They eventually. Yeah. That's why it's, I almost got away with it mm. because they're talking to the people <laughs> in. They're doing jailhouse interviews with these people who are on the run for forever. For a big long uh, yeah. stretch, yeah, I do like that uh -huh. show. I, I I did not know they had this new. Uh, Is it, well, I need to go. There's a bunch of shows on that. Is it Fear Thy Neighbor? Is that the? Yeah, because you guys were talking about it about two years ago, and yeah. you, it was a big thing on the news. And yeah. then I was saying to myself, they're going to make an episode about it. And I saw it yesterday, and yeah. I couldn't believe it. I, like I knew they was going to do that. Oh, yep. Yeah, I there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll check that out. Give me a heads up on that. If you get yeah. a chance to check it out, it's real good. No, I appreciate that. Hey, uh, Jamal, thanks for the call, man. Appreciate it. Listen to, no thanks problem, for, Woody. Have yeah, a good one. Thanks for listening to the Woody Show. Uh, did you find a question on there, Greg, that you like? Yeah, there's a few mm-hmm. of them that I are. I pick one. All just right. one. All right, so Greg's going to have a question, and if you are this person, we want you to call in. Ooh. I would right. like to ask, will anybody admit that their child could never be a model because they are not that attractive? <laughs> okay, question for the parents. Mm-hmm. You can call in anonymously. We're going to see if there's anybody out in the listening audience. Who would admit that their child could never be a model because they just don't think they're, they're that uggle. attractive. <laughs> yeah. Jay. Forget all the other reasons. This is purely physical. Rate your own yeah. baby. Like, all right, it's my kid and everything, but God damn, there's no way this kid's ever going to be a model. Should we throw out two in case? No, no, just throw the all one. Right. We'll, we'll see if we get anything. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So you're a parent, but you don't think that... Uh, your kid would be able to pull off being a model physically because, you know. I think we're going to get calls. You do? Because I hear about parents later in life say, oh, you were an ugly baby. I know, but would they ever. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, but would they ever. This is for, like, parents of young kids, though. Make sure they're listening. (laughs) 877-44-WOODY. I mean, maybe there will be nobody out there who wants to admit that. 877-44-WOODY. We'd like to hear from you. Again, you could call in anonymously. I'm sure, like, I already see uh, at least one person on the text saying, my kid definitely could not be, but I'm not willing to be on the air about it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right, so uh, we'll see if anybody is out there. A parent, are you willing to admit that your child could just never be a model because they're really not that attractive? Greg uh, picked out a question from this list, and the question is for parents. Will anybody admit that their child could never be a model because they are not that attractive? (laughs) And we actually have a couple of parents. Really? Yeah. Let's go to uh, John. Hey, good morning, John. John. Good morning. Morning. All right. So you're willing to admit that your child could never be a model? Yeah, actually, I don't know. It kind of went the opposite. She was photogenic when she was like 11, but once she hit 12, boom. I lost all of it. Mm. She left. Oh. She let herself go. <laughs> Puberty. Puberty yeah. struck hard. Yeah, it was her mother's fault. Her mother's gene pool. But I mean, I used to work as a film extra, and they would see photos of my daughter who had blonde hair, naturally blonde hair, curly, 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 blue eyes. Absolutely adorable. She looked like Dakota Fanning. They yeah. were begging her to be a stand-in for her. And then, twelve years old, all of a sudden, her mother's genes took over, and her <laughs> arms turned into her thighs. And Wow. wow. So how, how old is she now? She's expanded. She's about 26. Oh, okay. I oh. thought we were still talking about 12. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I thought maybe she was 13. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. Like but, even, um, but even then, she admits that she had the opportunity and she missed it. She won't admit yeah. why. So she's but, 26 yeah. now, so, like on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you say, if you're being honest? Uh, six. six. Oh, six. wow. That's not, that's not too bad. And you're blaming the mom. Like, did the mom? Mom's fault. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah let herself fault. go. I like what? how you phrased it. When she hit 12, two she lost at about two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. All right, John. So, thank you yeah, uh, for the call. Busted. Yeah. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Yeah, you're you're life. Right. Eight seven seven forty four. Woody. Some people are just willing to be honest. You know.